Hello and welcome back high levelers. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how you can take components inside of the Go High Level platform. Or we're going to be dealing specifically with five. I'm going to go over that in just a minute. Work five different components inside of the Go High Level platform that you can integrate into any third party website that does not have to be integrated or installed or even a part of the Go High Level platform. Now, I get this question quite often, especially on videos that involves uh, websites and funnels and things like that is, how can we take these objects? And I'm going to go over them now here just to make sure I, I get, up, get them all right here. So excuse, excuse me if I'm looking at a list. But we've got calendars. We're going to be dealing with forms. We're going to be dealing with the website chat widget. We're going to be dealing with the reputation management widget. This is a sort of relatively new one, but how to integrate that into a third-party website as well. And then finally, how to use hosted videos. Now, if you're not familiar, Go High Level does have the ability to host videos inside of the media library inside of high level. So now you can use that media library to publish or to put videos on other third-party websites. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, like I said, I get a lot of questions about this on my YouTube channel, people asking, how do I integrate this? And how do I integrate that? So I figured I'd just create a quick video, show you some of the ins and outs, because the problem with Go High Level is they have not streamlined this, meaning they have not standardized the way that you put code into, or where you find the code, let me put it that way, inside of Go High Level platform, because they put it into a couple of different places. So Right now, let's hop into it and let's start taking a look. Okay, so right now, just to give you a heads up, I've got a demo account set up inside of my high-level platform that we're going to be using. And I'm going to be using, in this case, a WordPress website. And we're going to be using that as a mechanism for displaying and showing you how to put in uh, th this particular code on a third-party website. Now, I'm going to make this a little disclaimer right now. I don't, I, I can't possibly go over every website builder like Wix Builder or GoDaddy Builder or anything like that. I don't know all interfaces that other websites have. but I do know that most of them do offer the couple of different inserts that I'm going to be talking about here. So for the most part, if you look for these particular type of plugins or inserts or applets or whatever you call them on your system, you should be able to do what I'm going to show you in this video. So over right now, let's go ahead and hop in and let's look at the calendar section first. So here at the calendars, we're going to go to calendars and go to the calendar settings. So this is where we're actually looking at all of the calendars that we have created. And I'm just going to use this one at the top here. It was one I was using for, for a different demonstration but I'm gonna click on these three dots over here on the corner and I'm gonna simply click on share. Now, when I get share, you're gonna get a lot of different links here. These scheduling links are just ways if you wanna just send somebody a quick link to schedule a copy, you can copy these links to say, here, click on this link and then it'll link them directly back into the calendar inside of high level. They have their own special page and it'll allow them to book an appointment. So for whatever reason, if your calendar is not showing or if you wanna maybe have a backup process, if the, in case the calendar doesn't show on your website, you might wanna just say, click this link here to schedule an appointment or something like that. So right now, what we're going to be focusing on right now is this little section called embed code. So we're going to click on that. And now notice you're going to get this code and this code is unique for each calendar that you have. So that's important. It's not the same for all calendars. So you will have to copy this for the particular calendar that you want. And then just simply come here and click copy. Uh, make sure we did that. Click it one more time. Good. Copy to clipboard. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is come over here inside of my WordPress and I'm going to add, don't worry if this doesn't look exactly the same. WordPress has a lot of different themes and things like that for that one. But anyway, I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to simply search for HTML. Now, again, HTML should be something very basic that all website builders have. Whatever components that you can add into the page inside of your website builder, most people have custom HTML. It could be referred to as custom code or something like that. But typically that's the same one that you want to use. And you just want to click on that to open it up. And what you're going to get is this little box where it just says, write the HTML. So what you're going to do is just simply, I'm just copying and pasting. Uh, the uh, the text that we just copied from high level. And I'm just going to click on save just to make sure I save this. But right now inside of this particular one, we actually have a preview built into this where we can actually see it. So if we click on preview, boom, notice now that the page pops up and we actually see this particular MacBook training. I, I have some customizations on here, but I see it now actually loads. So literally it is that simple to take a calendar inside of the high level platform, go copy the embed code, go to the page or the website or the whatever page you want to insert this on, or it could be a funnel, could be anything like that. It doesn't really matter. You should be able to just copy this code into HTML and be able to edit it and then simply be able to post it, save it, and you're off and running. Perfect. Now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and move on to our next one here. I do want to just, I'm going to leave this up here. I'm just going to blank this out real quick. So right now, we're, again, that was number one calendar. So right now, let's go ahead and take a look at forms. Now, forms are a different area. We have to come down here to sites, to the form builder. Now, to do a form right now, I'm just going to do this very first one. Uh, it was one of the ones I did in a reputation management regarding uh, Google review ranking. But if we click on this right here, we need actually need to go in and edit here. Uh, right now, if you click on share uh, for this one, this is not what we're looking for here. So you need to go to edit. 
So once you go into edit up here at the very top, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's an integrate right here. So this is what you need to select. You need to click on integrate. And now high level, they've really advanced this a little bit. Now they're asking you, how do you want the form to be displayed on the page? So is it going to be inline, meaning this is a normal form that would just load onto a page like a normal form would? Do you want it to be a pop-up on it? Do you want it to be on the side, what they call a polite side in, or even a sticky side uh, bar right here where the form just stays on the screen. Even as you scroll down the website, the form stays there for you to sign in. Very similar to like maybe an opt-in form. Now, you could choose all the ones you I'm, I'm not uh, too much care what form that you're going to use. I'm just going to keep uh, the inline form right here. But the biggest thing right here is I'm going to come down here and just choose the copy embed code. Again, you're always looking for this embed code. So now that's been copied. We can come back over here and just simply go back to that same HTML or add another one. Notice this is a little bit longer. I'm just going to go ahead and click save just to always save it in case uh, there's a problem. And then from here, I should be able to click preview and then the form um, actually shows. So this is what the form looks like, being able to rate us, select a particular one, hit a button click, and then whatever action you have, whatever workflow, by the way, this is very important. Whatever workflow, whatever step you have that is after you click on the button click for that particular form will initiate. So if you have a workflow, like a, a form submitted button, something like that workflow will fire inside of your Go High Level platform, even though the form itself is hosted on a website outside of High Level. Very important to understand that still works. So right now I'm gonna go back here and um, notice that this isn't too bad. Uh, we are gonna run across a problem here and I'm gonna show you how to uh, solve that. But um, right now let's go ahead and uh, click out of this and let's go back to the uh, website chat widget. This is where kind of the problem exists with the website chat widget because the way the chat widget loads and runs, you just can't place it anywhere. It has to be placed in a certain part of the page or the code. And for that, again, we'll take a quick look here, but let's go to this uh, live chat widget here and we're gonna click on edit. Now, a couple things I wanna show you right now. First of all, you can come up here and choose this button called get code right here, okay? Now I'm gonna click on it and show you what it is, which is gonna give you a piece of code that we're gonna be able to copy. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now just so I've got that in my clipboard. But I do wanna let you know that if you're running WordPress specifically, you can actually download and install the Lead Connector WordPress plugin which integrates and connects directly to your Go High Level platform and is able to pull a lot of these things in directly. Now, I'm not gonna be able to show you that lead connector plugin because I don't wanna mess, the, uh, the site I'm dealing with is a live site and I don't wanna mess with it. But if you want to click on this right here, it opens up another page and you can download this lead connector plugin. It is very simple, very easy. This right here is what it looks like. So if you want to, when you load it, all you have to do is check this little box right here to enable the chat widget. Very simple uh, to be able to do. You can pull in any of your funnels and things like that here. But again, that's the limitation of this as of right now. The chat widget and the funnels, if you want to load a funnel page into your uh, high-level system, this is one way to do that in here. But it does not do calendars and it does not do forms. So you will still have to do the procedure that I'm talking about to get that. I just want to make you aware of it. So now having said that, one of the things I do want to show you back here, if I did this too quick. I want to show you this a very important piece of text right here. Copy this code in the body or footer section of the website. Now, this is, this is not like copying and put it directly into the page like we've been doing. Right now, I would have for the website chat widget, I would have to strongly recommend putting this into the footer section of the website. Now, if you're not familiar with how to do that, you can look it up because I don't really know on all platforms how you would sit back and put a piece of code in the footer section. I do know with WordPress, there is a header footer WordPress plugin that you can download. These are free that actually puts a footer code, meaning there's a piece of code that goes into the footer on every single page of your website. And then that's where you need to copy and paste this code right here. It will not work if we do it the same way we've been doing it with the calendar and forms. So this is one of those ones where I'm not going to be able to demo it right here because again, the site's live and we already have a chat widget running on this particular site. So I won't be able to show you that, but this is how you would do it. You would go to the footer section and you would have to install that code there. So that is one of the caveats. It's a little bit more complicated, not bad, but a little bit more and you should be able to get it to work. So next thing I want to show you is the reputation management. So one of the nice things about the reputation management are these widgets. Now, these widgets right here, this is not really a one that's been created. It's not really been decorated and really filled out. It's a, a blank template. But my point is just to be able to know the process of doing this, you can go through and create a new widget. You can customize it. You can do everything else. Keep in mind that the widget that has the live button on it right here is the one that is the only one that will currently be displayed. You can have as many widgets here as you want, but only one of them can be live. And once the one is live, then that's the one that's actually going to be used for the embed code. Now, I will tell you this. This right here is a very good thing. I recommend putting the testimonials or this kind of uh, chat widget on every customer client site that you have because it really builds social proof. 
you're probably going to end up selling them reputation management. You're probably going to uh, build a system for that. By the way, I've got a couple of videos that are really good. And I even have a snapshot regarding reputation management that could really help you sell it on my YouTube channel. So go check that out. But right now, having this widget is very important because it does provide social proof to other people when they're on there. It's, hey, these are real live uh, Google reviews that are being pulled in. Now, I'm not going to go over the widget itself right now. I'm just going to simply uh, come down here and click on edit widget. And right now, if we come over to the settings area here, up into the top right in the settings, we're going to come down here and we have this code right here. So we're going to copy that and blow that back out. Come here and again, same HTML. Uh, click on save real quick, just kind of save that. And then if we click on preview, what we should get again, this isn't connected. There's no integration with Google Business Profile for this demo company. So it's not pulling in Google reviews. My whole point is you see that this right here is what should be displayed. And this is what is displayed here in the widget. So the code is working and it'll load fine. This is how you will load it on the page of your particular client, even if the website, again, is not in the high level system. So again, great. That's uh, what we're looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and for this one, I'm going to remove this HTML code because right now when we deal with our last item here, which is our video hosting, how do you display videos that are hosted from a system like go high level? Now, most, again, most systems will have the HTML code. Now, because most systems now are using video or allow you to use video on your website, there should be some form of a video editor or video something component that you could put on your website, copy and paste a link from the YouTube channel or from Vimeo or from Wistia or whatever place. But high level is, can be one of those links that you actually go out and get. So right now, what I want to show you here is if we click on this and we just simply search for video. Oh, there's several different videos over here. You can download the one for YouTube, Vimeo uh, specifically. You can probably download one for all of them, but I'm just going to use this generic video one right here. And notice it just says upload the video, you know, choose from the media library, which is another option, having it hosted, the video hosted here, or you can insert from URL. So we're going to do insert from URL, but before we do that, I'm going to have to show you how to go get the URL. So let's go back to the high level system. We're going to go inside the media library and I'm not going to save any of that. So right now this is, I'm going to choose this one. This is a nice one that I used on a demo. I'm going to, sorry about that. Let me blow this up a little bit so you can probably see this better. So right now, if you go to the video, Notice that this video has been uploaded. It's an MP4. That's why I click on these little dots and you want to just say, get link. That's what you're going to do. So once you actually get the link, you're going to come over here and just say, insert from URL. Now, if, again, for here, you could do high level. You could do Vimeo. You could do YouTube. Any one of these links will work. I'm just trying to show you how you would do that here. Now, when you do that, boom, look, you've got a video. That's just nice. It's the videos is in high level though. Keep in mind, it's actually in high level, but you're hosting this on a third-party website, which is pretty cool. Now, again, if you just take a quick look over here, you've got all the different options are uh, very similar to how inside of go high level, you get the website builder and the, once you have the component or the element here, you can actually choose some of the settings. So I'm just going to sit back and choose autoplay. You can loop it. So it just at the end of it, it just goes through again. You can do all these things if you want to. And just once you have that, then we can just simply click save draft. Now for this, I will, there is no preview. So I'm going to have to just load this. And I'm just going to click on load. And this is a uh, WordPress generating the preview. So this page is going to load. Notice that it has my uh, website page design, things like that on it. So right now, um, here's the video. Simply click play and everything should be good to go here. So again, notice that it's nice. It's got that nice little view right here. But now this video is on my website, but being pulled from the media library inside of Go High Level. So you can do all of those. You just simply have to, again, get them configured and get them set up using the simple solutions I've given you right here. So guys, that's really, it's not hard to do this. But it is helpful to know this because sometimes clients do want to keep their websites on third-party providers, and then you still want to be able to use the integration like forms and calendars, things like that integrated on their particular website, and then have the automation features inside of Go High Level still respond, react, and activate as a result of somebody going in and filling out a form online and stuff like that. So guys, if you found this video useful, click on the like button, leave me a comment. I always appreciate your feedback on this. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button. And most importantly, my little plug is I am a Go High Level affiliate. If you have not signed up for high level or you're looking to upgrade to the agency pro level, you can use my, my upgrade link. I do have an upgrade link as well as a 30 day free trial link in the description of this video. I give you a ton of bonuses coaching. I, I try to make, give you everything that you need to be successful. So I appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging in there with me and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.